Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about new codes for the mind. Um, right now, we are in a moment in our human and planetary evolution where there is a lot of new things appearing. And one of the areas which is being renewed is how we function as human beings, how our emotions, thoughts, beliefs, emotions, feelings function inside of us. I call that the inner game. So, when you look at a feeling inside of you, and this feeling is challenging to you, you know, for instance, I feel sad, and you will, you're like, I would rather be happy. So, when you look at this feeling, I feel sad, you have different ways of looking at it. The first one is like embracing it. You can look at it and go like, wow, I feel sad. This is, you, you feel it in your system, you feel it in your body, you feel it where it appears, where in your chakras, you feel the thought patterns that are associated with it, and you dwell into this feeling of sadness. Okay, it's like you embrace that emotion. That's possibility number one. Possibility number two is like you don't just embrace it, you write a book about it, you talk about it with your friends, you go to therapy, you are like manifesting this whole reality around this feeling of sadness. Uh, option number three is like you look at sadness, you say, I don't want you in my mind. I don't have time for that. I want happiness. And then you start focusing on building up happiness and eventually happiness becomes strong enough and powerful enough and sadness becomes this kind of passing emotion that you go like, why was it there in the first place? And then suddenly, poop, it just dissolves because you have been building so much positive energy and so much power that the feeling of sadness just disappears because you stop feeling it. It just dies out. So you see that from all these three possible uh, attitudes, uh, which one would you choose? Where do you go from there? You have a feeling, and then do you embrace it? Do you give it space? Do you, do you glorify it? Do you just kick it out? And uh, the reason why I'm giving you these ideas is because you have a choice. You are the designer of your mind. You are the designer of your feelings. You get more of what you focus on. You have a feeling of sadness, you can make it expand, grow, or you can shut it down, or you can push it aside and focus on other feelings. And um, you will be amazed to realize how much influence you have over your mind, your level of happiness, and your level of joy. So, 100 years ago, we didn't have a full access to these ideas. Today, we went through like 20, 30 years of hardcore personal development uh, experimentation on so many different levels. You know, you have all the uh, NLP, all the coaching, all these books, all these uh, bestsellers that teach you how to be happy. And what they are saying is that you've got a choice. You can influence what happens in your mind. And this is like a fundamental paradigm shift. It's the idea that you are not a victim, you are the designer, you are actually the architect of what happens in your life. And you get more of what you focus on. So if what you want is happiness, simple, focus on happiness. If what you want is sadness, focus more on sadness. That's what you talk about more. So simply keep that in mind. This is one of the most fundamental changes that we are going through in the planet and humankind right now. And yes, those ideas were already there like two or three thousand years ago. Of course they were there. But today there is like a new stream of energy that makes it available to everybody. Every single person on this planet is waking up to the reality that, hey, I can choose my level of happiness. I can choose what I want to be. I can choose my thoughts. I can choose my emotions. I can choose my beliefs, my feelings. Okay? Keep that in mind. I'll see you soon.